This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Alright, now pay close attention to all the stickers. Not just the Yuri one, but also to this part here. Alright, we got Vibrant. We got Extraordinary. Doggone it! After image. Unrequited. Heaven sent. Oh, who's that down there? I could have sworn I saw someone else jumping there for a bit. Ambient. Agonizing. Melancholy. Landscape. Determination. Scars. That was Monica. Unrestrained. Effulgent. Contamination. Oh, that's a lot of words that we've chosen. Wow. My goodness. Depression. Embrace. Um, climax. Uncontrollable. Disoriented. Prayer. Things are getting weirder. Hi, Artie! I don't like being created like that. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to! Ugh! Is she very late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. I'm not even doing anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Aw, oh, man! I'm the last one here again! Well, Artie just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? <laughs> yeah! Ha ha ha! You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga! <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I got really threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. Oh yeah, I'm down for that. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too and make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Artie, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ugh, oh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Artie is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Thank you for understanding, Monica. Okay. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. Did Yuri leave you again? Yep. Can you believe it? Is something holding her up? I'm bored. Let's go look for her. Oh, you have an 8 a.m. tomorrow. Well, I'm... S shoot. Dog on it. Let's see. If you have to leave, that's perfectly fine. We're actually going to finish up pretty quickly, hopefully. The most logical place for Yuri would be the nearest water fountain. So we'll go down the hallway. Ha, ha, ha. Yep, she's cutting herself. Sharp inhale like someone's sucking the air. Are they in pain? I turn the corner and peer around it. Yuri? That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, Marty. Yes, please have a good night. I'm going to go to bed as soon as the stream is over. I'm going to finish up the whole game. After after Act 2 is over, there's very little of the game left. Um, wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had really weird deja vu. 
This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think that I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little bit too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So, I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we go to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. It's like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Artie. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling like something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me that I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody interfere with our reading time. Nobody make me feel like stabbing myself in the fro. I see what's happening back there. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you sh come to my house sometimes? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from all various artisans. I've, I'll make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Artie. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. Oh, there's no need for us to be around Machina. Machina? That's the wrong game. Monica's slimy ton anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we could meet each other. And now... We get the happily ending that we've been patiently waiting for years for. Will you do that for me, Artie? Okay. Who should I show my poem to first? Pretty normal stuff. Okay, let's go, Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you, Artie. Well, that wasn't ominous or anything. Okay. Um. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna take. A really quick bathroom break and refill my water. I'll be right back. I am back, baby. All right. Who should we show our poem to next? Let's show it. Let's see. Let's show it to. Who should we show it to next? Natsuki or Yuri? Um. Let's do Natsuki next. I'm not going to read another one of your Yuri suck-up poems. But I'm still going to make you read mine. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. Please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend Pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. 
I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Artie? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. <laughs> Who should I show my phone to next? One of the best parts of the game. Yuri. Finally! <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and she takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Artie, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Artie. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. <laughs> Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good about me, or when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! That's embarrassing. Yuri spilled her ketchup and mustard on this. Also, I can't read this chicken scratch. Although that looks like a naughty word. Um, you're way too close, Yuri. And you have creepy eyes. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I think I'm going to vomit. Okay, that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Yes? A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse. But she killed herself just in time. Not in the top ten funniest jokes I've ever heard. Okay, everyone! It's time to figure out the festival preparations! Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez! Why is the mood so weird today? I don't know, maybe because Yuri just talked about masturbating to my my poem. That's gotta be part of it. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking... I want to make cupcakes! Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Just do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Way to be hands-on, Monica. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh-huh. What about Artie? Artie's going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already the most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about is dragging Artie around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything! Okay, then why not let Artie decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. You just let Artie make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. 
Jeez. Artie, I know how fed up with you of these two you are by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! For God's sake, this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? I did not move the mouse there. It keeps moving back to Monica. <laughs> I can move it below and around. But if I move it over, oh, 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 no, 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 oh, no, no, I don't want to pick Monica anymore. I want to pick Natsuki. I already did the baking with Natsuki, but that's what I want to do. I picked Yuri by mistake. Okay, I guess instead of Yuri or Natsuki, uh, hmm. We can pick Monica, 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 or Monica. I guess we'll pick Monica. Yay! You picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend! I promise it'll be fun! Is Sunday okay with you? <laughs> I love how ecstatic she is when that we picked her, even though we literally were forced to. Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Artie for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Artie away from me every single time that you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. A little? Wow, you went so far over the line, I can't even believe it. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yeah, you can see why Yuri became the creepiest character I've ever encountered. Oh, act 2 Yuri. Act 2 Yuri and Act 1 Yuri are totally different characters. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki did the door. Hey, Artie, Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Also, I already kind of gave the advance warning on Sayori's hanging herself. This, in my opinion, is what's about to happen here is even creepier and scarier than that. You You are warned. It, this next part is the most disturbing part of the game for me. And for uh, many people. This is all, really all I wanted. Artie, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. Just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tr tried stopping myself at first. The feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Artie. I have to tell you, I'm I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Artie, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will only be yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Artie. Tell me, you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Heck no! You are crazy, woman! Also, it literally doesn't matter what you say. The exact same thing happens. And that's the moment that creeped me out more than any other moment. Jeez Louise, you should not look like that while you're stabbing yourself. And now we get this lovely CG. 
Yeah, we literally, we, we have two choices. We can either literally manually click for all these tech boxes, and there's like hundreds of them, or we can hit skip. All this music here is a massively slowed down version of a different song. It's creepy. You know, when people wanted to spend the weekend with Yuri, this probably isn't what they had in mind, but there we go. And watch as their body slowly decomposes. That's also creepy. The blood gradually turns black and her eyes get more and more sunken. Ugh, my gosh. Alright, it's festival time! Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was pretty- ah! Ah! Yeah, throwing up is an appropriate thing to see at that when you get re greeted by that sight. And so he runs away. I'm here! Artie, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me at- Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Artie? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I, I wouldn't say that. I would say disturbing. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh, I said remove, remove Yuri.chr. Yuri.chr deleted successfully. Natsuki.chr deleted successfully. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from his tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. 